More than 2,000 top political advisors in China have gathered to kickstart the country's biggest political meeting. For more, we turn to Paul Yi at the News Center. Paul, this annual meeting is expected to set the tone for the National Congress later on Thursday. What else should we expect to come out of this venue? Well, the first of the two big sessions, the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, is underway in Beijing. It will cover many topics encompassing the full spectrum of Chinese society, but one of the main focal points will be the country's military spending plans. Adion's Kwan Suwa has more. Chinese President Xi Jinping's vision for a stronger China includes building up its army. Political leaders will be discussing ways to achieve that at the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference and National People's Congress dubbed the two sessions. An expansion of military power according to a nation's economic growth is inevitable. The same goes for China. China's military spending had been on the decline until 2013, but increased by 12 percent last year to more than 130 billion U.S. dollars, putting China behind top military spender the United States. China's defense budget is expected to increase again this year, especially given the country's involvement in a territorial dispute with Japan over an island chain in the East China Sea and Tokyo's announcement earlier this year of its biggest defense budget ever. National defense modernization is the key to modern warfare. It's like the nerves inside the body. There is global interest in the upcoming announcement as many countries try to narrow the gap in military spending with China. China's 2015 defense budget is expected to be unveiled on the opening day of the National People's Congress on Thursday. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.